Oh, that's yeah. great. How was the the party? Oh, the party is very funny. And I meet my younger sister. Yes. Mm -hmm. and oh. Wow. Yeah. And did you wear your and new clothes? Yes, I wear <laughs> my new clothes. Oh, nice. Very nice. I'm so happy to hear that. And are you going to enter in this competition? Competition. Mm. I don't know if you remember, um, they sent it on the on the Zalo over here. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. I forget it. Oh, you must remember. Oh Don't worry, I was reminded today about it. Yes, I forget it because oh, I have still so time. many hard work and uh, mm. and on the in the on the week I do I have a test. Oh, oh, so you had to study? Yes, all subtract. Okay, yeah. no problem. I just got reminded about it today. I actually wasn't going to say anything, but you're one of my top students. So I hope you can enter this. Yeah. You never know, maybe you win. <laughs> yes, I see. Uh, mm. Yeah? Okay. Okay. I will do it. Yes, uh, there's still lots of time. So it ends, I think, does it end over here? Oh, my ink, my Vietnamese is not good. Yes, I see. I see it. Okay. I can, I can. Oh, my word. All right. I'm not sure when it ends. This I will I think it's on the 30th of November, so I at the end go. of this month. There we go. What yes, was that? I see. Okay. I heard a bit um, of a weird sound. Yes. Okay. Okay. So Okay, yeah, so they say you need to finish it. Oh, the 25th of November. Yeah. Which is next week, Thursday. Lots of time still to do it. Okay, very good. So there's still lots of time. So I definitely think you should enter. You'll do very well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Very it. good. Yeah. Okay. And what else did you do this weekend? Oh, I I do many things. Uh, mm. That is, I I play video games. I what I'm watching TV. I'm playing with my cousin okay oh nice wow so you were very busy this weekend yes very oh, nice nice sweet yes i have mm -hmm. i have repeat repaired to my test okay wow. i think it's very difficult for me as a mm. uh, very nervous when when is your test was it today or is it tomorrow uh, tomorrow uh from from tomorrow to friday yeah okay so that you have a test for so many days yes wow okay so it's like test week <gasps> on what subjects oh it's so many subjects is oh. science history math uh, and 
geography and wow so all the school subjects yes oh oh i understand wow so it's very busy times and it's also probably because i think the schools are going on holiday soon right in december yes okay wow very good so interesting okay yes. very nice let's see let's have a look at our lesson are you ready yes i ready okay let's go 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 I have just eaten with my cousin <laughs> again. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, music can put everybody in such a good mood. Have it. Okay, so yeah. Unit 7, World Travel. So we, was, uh, we were speaking <laughs> about world travel. Okay. Yes, world travel. World travel. We were speaking about where we want to travel to. So lesson four, explorers. What are explorers? Yes. What are explorers? explorers. Hmm. I think that um, I think it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it is someone who likes to travel. Explore. Are you googling? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that, yes, that is. Okay, what does Google tell you? <laughs> oh, my world. Uh, oh. Oh, my God. Okay, so a person who explores a new or unfamiliar area. Okay, so it's a person who likes to travel. We can call them also a traveler. Okay, so somebody yes. that likes to go to new places, new areas. Okay, good. Yes, I think it. Vocabulary. Love vocabulary. Let's have a look. Okay, the first yes. one. Explorer. Can you say that with me? Explorer. Okay. Explorer. Explorer. Yes, good job. Yeah. Next one. Hi. Hi. Good. Yes, we can. Oh, why are you ticking all of them before we read them? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Reach. 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 Oh, yes. Good job. British. British. Good job. So remember we said yes. we said England. If you live in England, you are British. Yes, I see. Good. Next one, leave. Leave. Next one, grateful. Grateful. Good job. Next one, lead. Lead. Good work. All right, so right. let's have a look. Okay, so let's see. Hmm. Oh, yes. Let's have Make a look. Up sentences. Yes. Oh, with All Explorer. Right. Yes. Okay, oh, so let's okay. give a sentence with Explorer and oh, lead. So okay. Want a sentence with these yeah. two? So this one, one and this one. Okay. Oh, and I also want a one from this one. Sorry. 
Okay, so just three sentences that we need to give. Not too bad. Oh. <laughs> just try your best. Remember, if it's wrong, I'm here to help. What's class yes. four? Okay. There's no harm in trying. There we go. Yes. If you don't try, you won't succeed and you won't know. Explorer. So a sentence with explorer. Oh, I think it's so. Explorer. Wanted to climb. Oh, sorry, that was my fault. Okay, yes. there we go. The explorer wanted to climb to the top of a famous mountain that they liked. Good work. Yeah. So just be careful with your tenses, right? So just don't get them confused. Yes. Okay. Good. Next one, British. 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 I love the British accents. They always sound yes. proper. I drink my cup of tea. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Queen Elizabeth. Okay. British. Okay. Oh my word. When we, oh, when we born, yeah, when we born, mm -hmm. uh, when we born, uh, in, oh, it is your husband is <laughs> sleeping. He's at work. <laughs> yes. At work, yeah. Yeah. Uh, England. So he's at work and I work from home because I don't want to go into offices now with the whole COVID-19. Yes. Although he did give us COVID-19 already. So we were already very, very, very sick. Yes, I see. I think it. Oh, it's not bad. I think. <laughs> oh my god. When we. Hmm. I like it, but it's just too many grammar mistakes okay so when all right so when we born in england we can't say that okay that's very wrong yeah. and not all of us are born in england so we can say people born and living in england are british All right, so we can say that rather. Ah, yeah, I keep, okay. I keep by accident clicking on the square. Okay, so yeah, so people born, sorry, people born and living in England are British. All right, or we can say the the woman from yes. England is British, which means she lives in England. Okay. My dad is a, a no, 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 no. You can say my dad is a, the, the leader 
in my family. But then that is not the word lead, right? So yeah, we still have a bit right. of a problem. All right. So we can say uh, she she takes the lead on the hike, which means she is in front. Yes. Okay. Okay. So just be careful with that one. Okay. So be very yeah. careful with this one and this one. Yeah, okay. So good. Okay. Good. Okay, good job. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Okay. Yes, good work. Grammar. Past tense. What is past tense? A past tense is... Hmm? Oh, I think good past... Are we tense. Googling? <laughs> Okay, Google seems to be winning today a lot. <laughs> okay, don't worry. I also I love Google. Yes. Um I also I also call Google is in Vietnamese is Chi Google. <laughs> ah. Okay, so past tense. This means that it already happened. Yeah. Okay, so it already happened. So it is something that has happened. Okay, it's it's in the past. It's already yes. happened behind yes. us. What happened in 1924? Okay, I was not born yet. You were not born yet in 1924. Yes. Okay, so George Mallory and Andrew Arvin tried to reach the top of Mount Everest. Yes, that is so great. Okay, so I mean, you learn you learn about Mount Everest at school, right? Probably with history class. Oh, I think. It is so high. It is very high, very high. And it is very cold doing that hike. So you can get frostbite. Yes. So many things can go wrong. Okay. Yes. It's very cold. All right. So Mount Everest. So a lot of people make it their like lifetime goal to hike up Mount Everest and make it to the top. Okay. Favoring horrible conditions, bad weather, coldness, snow. All right. Yeah. Very high. Yes, it is. Very it's very high. high. Okay, and it's very, very cold. So this is not something I want to do. I don't like the cold. I love hiking, but not in snow and um, horrible conditions like this. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and you get so high. Mount Everest is very high. So, all right. So the climate, how do I say? The climate change is quite hectic. Yes. And your atmosphere is very, very different on the top. So there's um, there's less less oxygen at the top. Oh, okay, yeah. So you a lot of people feel horrible when they get to the top of it. So I don't want to yes. feel like that. Okay. Mm. Okay, so good work. So let's watch the video. Okay. This boat is called the RRS Discovery. Over a hundred years ago, in 1902, about 60 British explorers took the boat to Antarctica. Wow. The leader was Captain Robert Falcon Scott, and he wanted to reach the South Pole, but it wasn't easy. 
They arrived on January 8th in 1902, and they quickly set up a campsite. In the first month, they explored the area. Wow. They identified animals <laughs> and collected plants. But the weather became very cold, and it snowed a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. They left the campsite and lived on the boat because it was warmer there. Warmer. But then one day, the explorers found a problem with the boat, oh, no. so they couldn't leave Antarctica. After a few weeks, the weather became warmer and Captain Robert Falcon Scott wanted to leave the boat. He tried to lead the explorers to the South Pole. They hiked for a long time, but the weather became very cold again. It was very dangerous. They returned to the campsite where two new ships, called the Morning and Terra Nova, were waiting for them. The explorers were very grateful because these boats took them back to the UK. Sadly, they didn't reach the South Pole, but they returned safely back home. The Discovery Exploration became famous in the UK and you can still see the RRS Discovery today. Now this boat is a museum where people can learn about the great explorers and their travels. Wow, that's interesting, right? So it's no yeah. secret. It's no secret that the British, okay, people from the UK, they really in the past traveled. They they had a lot of explorers. They went, they've been, they went to Europe, they went to Africa, they went to so many places. Yes. Mm. Interesting, definitely interesting. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. So let's have a look. Okay, let's read. All right, so we need to just pay attention. Okay, let's have a look. Mount Everest in Nepal is the highest mountain in the world. It's over two, it's over 29,000 feet high in 1924 george mallory and andrew iron okay tried to reach the top of mount everest but they could not do it okay in 19 in 1953 ralph frieda's mountain climbers wanted to climb to the top the climbers Camped at 26,000 feet. Two climbers tried to reach the top, but they could not do it. Edmund Hillary and Tessie Norgay left the camp on May 28th and reached the top the next day. They became the first people to climb to the top of Mount Everest. Good job. Edmund Hillary and Sin Sing Noroke reached the top of Mount Everest. So then this was like all over in the news and everywhere. Over 1,200 people have now climbed to the top of Mount Everest. In 1963, James Whittaker became the first person from the USA to reach the top Yunko Taibai from Japan became the first woman to reach the top in 1975. In 2000, 142 climbers reached the top. All of them were grateful to Edmund Hillary 
uh, Tenzing Norgay leading the way. Wow. Yes. Okay, yes. Let's listen. Page 70. C. Listen and read. Listen and read. Climbing Mount Everest. Mount Everest in Nepal is the highest mountain in the world. It's over 29,000 feet high. In 1924, George Mallory and Andrew Irvine tried to reach the top of Mount Everest, but they could not do it. In 1953, 12 British mountain climbers wanted to climb to the top. The climbers camped at 26,000 feet. Two climbers tried to reach the top, but they could not do it. Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay left the camp on May 28th and reached the top the next day. They became the first people to climb to the top of Mount Everest. Over 1,200 people have now climbed to the top of Mount Everest. In 1963, James Whitaker became the first person from the USA to reach the top. Junko Tabe from Japan became the first woman to reach the top in 1975. In 2000, 142 climbers reached the top. All of them were grateful to Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay for leading the way. Okay, very good. So, yes. wow. So these people tried to climb Mount Everest and got there. Some didn't get there. Okay, all right, so any questions? No, I don't have any questions. Okay, how how high is Mount Everest? I think it's, it's over 29,000 feet oh, high. Yeah, so over 20, so it is, yeah, so it's over 29,000 feet. Hi. Yes. Yeah, Hi. Okay. How did Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay become famous? I think Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay led the team on May 10th. T eight fifth and reach the top the next day. Yes, so on okay, so on the 29th of May they got to the top and they became famous also because they led over 1200 people. No, wait, sorry. Oh, sorry, this one, 2000, in 2000, in 2000, 142 climbers reached the top, okay? Yes. And it's all thanks to Edmund, Hillary, and Tenzing for leading the way. Yes, yes, okay. great. So they led That's the way great. for climbers, yes. How many people have climbed to the top of Mount Everest? Oh, there's so many people. I think over 1,200 people have now climbed to the top of Mount Everest. Yes, over 1,200 people. That's a lot of people. Like, wow. Yes. Good. So over 1,200 people. Um, on what day did Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Nor Day reach the top? Norgay. Yes. When did they reach the top? I think it uh, reached the top. I think it oh, is May twenty ninth fifth. Yes. Yes, May so yes, so they reached the top on May 29th because they said they they left the campsite on the 28th 
Okay, and then they reach the top the next day. Yes. Okay, good. So May 29th, yes. Yeah. Very good. Oh my word. Okay. A race to the top of Mount Everest. Fill in the timeline, draw the lines. Okay. So in the 1920, so 1924, George Mallory and Andrew Arvin tried to reach the top of the Mount Everest. All right, then oh. it was James Whitaker. And when did they? 19. Yeah. Three, good. What 142 climbers reached the top? Okay. 42 climbers reached the top. Oh, yes, I know, I know. Yeah. 2000, yeah. Yes. Okay. For Edmund Hillary and Tenzing, Norway reached the top. I think it. Is nineteen fifty three? Yes, nineteen fifty three. Good. Okay. So we can draw a line. Nineteen fifty three. In nineteen seventy five, Janko Taipei from Japan became the first woman to reach the top. Okay, very yes. good. Okay, these people, wow, they are very brave because I would be far too scared to try yes. climb up this mountain. Would you yes. want, would you like to go up this mountain, Mount Everest? Yes, I like it very much. Oh, you want to hike it? Yes. Oh. I no, I don't want to hike it. It's too cold. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, so many like things you have to think about, like frostbite and oh no no. Yeah. No. What happened in 1924? Girl, Mallory and Andre Irvine tried to reach the top of Mount Everest. Good work. What are the yes. most famous mountains in your country? Oh, it is, oh in Vietnam is oh it is Phan Yeah. Oh wow! Is it very high? Oh, I think it is high. I oh. Think it's high. And have you yeah. ever climbed a mountain? No, I haven't. No, oh, I have. It's fun, but it is a little bit scary. All right, where do you like to explore? Yes, I like to explore the fancy bank, and I had to go that mountain to hike. Oh, hike can, can people hike that mountain? Oh, I don't know that. Okay, so are that. people able to hike the mountain? The famous mountain? Yes. Yes, okay. Nice, nice. Okay, so they, they also say the Rocky Mountains. Yeah. Okay. The Rocky Mountains. Let me see if I, I can find it. I don't know Rocky Mountains. I I know 
uh, Everest and Fansipa and Fusi in Trappe. Oh. Yes, yes, Mount Fuji is a one that I wouldn't mind going to one day. Um, let me have a look. Yeah. Okay, so the Rocky Mountain in Vietnam. All right. Not sure if yes. you can if you can okay. find this one. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see if I can get it. I think it. I think it. Okay. okay. Okay, so this is the one that I probably mean. Yeah. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, I see you can hike it. Do you see the hiking trail? Yeah. Wow, it looks beautiful. Yes, I think. Wow, it looks very beautiful. What do you think? Yes, it's very beautiful. Okay, yeah, definitely. Very beautiful. Would love to go here one day. Yes, me too. Okay, wow. Oh my word. Okay, this one doesn't look like it's in Vietnam though. I'm not sure if yeah. it is. Okay, but I've never been to <laughs> never been to Vietnam, so I still need to learn a lot. Yes. Okay. Let's see, look at this poster. What do you think is happening? Oh, yes. Oh, I think it, watch the video. Have you ever gone exploring? Is an interesting place before tell friend. I think it. No, I have it. I have it. Ever gone exploring is an interesting place before. Oh, okay. So I have. I've been to the UK. I've explored a bit like in America. So I've traveled and explored quite a lot and it's very fun. Yes, me too. I think um, <laughs> Nice. Okay, let's play. So guess what? Who is this? Oh. Ah, oh, it. Explorer. Explorer? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. He's got Explorer. his magnifying glass. He is looking for things. Yeah. He's traveling. Good. Oh. Grateful. Grateful. Yes. Oh. Yes. Very nice. Yes, right. Oh, oh. Yes. rich. Rich, rich. yes. Rich. Yes, that's great. Good job. Well done. Yeah. Okay, so here we can write about my life, right? So you can yeah. say, you can write, for example, 2010. Uh, high school. Okay. Um, twenty fifteen. University. Okay. So you can write about your life and use this timeline to do so. All right. So you can maybe say when you were in kindergarten, primary school, high school. And obviously, where you are now will be the last one. Yes, I see. Okay, very good. Did you like today's lesson? Yes, I like <laughs> it very much. Great job. Any questions? No, very I don't have good. any questions. 
Okay, yeah. so remember to enter in that competition. I hope to see your name there. Okay, so oh. I want all my top performing can... students to enter. Yes, can you give me a, a the, the my life? Your? His name is my life. Yes, my life. Oh, what what one? This one? Yes. Oh, yes, yes. I'll send it to you. The timeline. Yes. Okay, so you, you understand what you must do here. It's very easy. So it's like, yeah, so you can put in the date. So 2010. Yeah. Uh, what you were doing here. Blah, 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 blah. And then <laughs> what you were doing five years later in 2015, university, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, when you were born, you can say also when you were born, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so you can do that. Um, I will send it to you. And then yes. it's it's very easy. It's not difficult. Um, let me send it to you. Yeah, so you can write your own timeline. Yes. Okay, very good. I really loved the class today. It was so interesting. What did you think? Yes, me too. I saved you. Yes, thank you very much. So we read about yes. we read about Mount Everest and we also saw about the ship, right? That was yes. um, going to the Antarctic and they wanted to reach the North is it the North Pole? Yeah, okay. Was it the North Pole that they were trying to reach? Hmm. Yeah, so, okay, so we read, we watched a video about this ship and the explorers, and then we also read about Mount Everest, and it is the highest mountain. Okay. Yeah. No questions. Yes, no questions. Oh, what? Ah, oh, very good. Okay, so I will see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye. Yes. Bye. See you. See you then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.